have a national championship last month, but places are still open and then the team will be confirmed. Well, that'll have done Dimitri Kokarev's case for a position in that team. No harm at all. Move on next. to the next event, which we're on to the sprints now. At least we've seen the, the longer distance events. Down to the sprint events here. 50 meters butterfly. This is going to be fast and furious. It's nice to mix it up, distance events and the sprint events to keep everything moving. Again, we, we've seen a couple of events earlier. We've seen some rivalries forming already. We've kind of flagged some up for the final. I think this is another one which could be very, very interesting indeed. There is Matula Eroglu, silver medalist in the last European Championships, gold medalist in the European Championships in 2011. And there is Tan Tung Ho from Vietnam, was the first male swimmer from Vietnam to get a World Championship medal last year. Impressive. Great accolade for them. They got two medals at the World Championships last year. Andrew Mullen is the European record holder. He goes in the second heat and the world record holder, of course, the great Daniel Diaz of Brazil. He's interested in sitting out this event at this championships. Brazilians, as we said, here in force. Daniel Diaz is here. What a great start from Iroglu there. Using that underwater to great advantage. Similarly, like we said with the S6 later, guys who don't use to have any arms, using that underwater. Backstroke and fly is similar in that sense. That you use that butterfly leg kick, and as we see now, starting to get caught up. Yeah, Tom Tom Vo coming back strongly there. The two lanes, centre lanes, the yellow lane markers. Iroglu keeping his head down. Is he going to breathe? All, how many breaths did Iroglu have there? Maybe one, maybe two, the whole length. But he really kept his head down well there, Liz. Fantastic stuff. 38.77. But that's tough. Yeah, he took a sneaky breath with 15 metres to go. But actually, once you're in that straight line position, breathing just breaks it for you. So if you can manage to hold your breath and use big, strong lungs, then you will lose as much speed, which is what we saw him do. And there it is, Iroglu. 38.77, great, kind of fish-like start, wasn't it? It's a brilliant start considering most athletes use their arms for balance at the start, and he just flung himself into the water. Excellent stuff again, finishing on the head. This is the S5 classification, of course. We saw the swimmers in the S6 classification with no arms. Iroglu as well as having no arms, he has an impairment in one of his legs. So that's why he's come down to the S5 class. And his great rival in this event in European terms goes in the second heat, of course. Iroglu will take that first heat, 38.77. Tantum Vo, very good, 39.13. And Petracek from the Czech Republic, 38.77. 